almost exactly a year ago when you were on the first time and you came on and you told us that we should not buy what was then a dip developing, especially in tech stocks. So uh, one correct one there, call for you. So now, of course, a year later, we are curious as to what has changed. A lot has changed, including the fact that it doesn't look like you shaved very much in that year. But uh, for those of you following along on video, but yeah, curious if you're any more constructive now for the outlook for risk assets, such as stocks, with all of your research that you do in the economic cycle and things like that? So the short answer is uh, no, but for different mm. reasons than the last time we talked. The last time okay. we talked, inflation was beginning to accelerate and the Fed was starting to become very, very hawkish. And uh, the reason it wasn't a good idea to buy the dip at the time is because the Fed was getting ready to embark on the most aggressive uh, rate hiking cycle since Paul Volcker. And a lot of the large cap US indexes have considerable duration risk because there's a lot of growth and a lot of tech. And so as interest rates went up, a lot of those long duration assets, you mentioned tech stocks, went down really quickly. And uh, so did the indexes as a result. We think that the risk for risk assets now is a little bit different. We think the Fed is probably toward the end of its hiking cycle. Maybe they get another 25 or 50 basis points. Uh, but we're clearly closer to the end than to the beginning. We think the risk now is credit risk, is the risk that economic growth slows in a nonlinear way. And that's also a bad backdrop for risk assets. But in terms of the market internals and who tends to get hit the hardest, uh, it's a little bit different. 